Welcome, Helen Simon. Thank you, Dougal. How did you come to be at the museum? So, um, I grew up in Australia but moved over to New Zealand a bit over two years ago to start my Masters. And there was a job going at the museum in the collections team in the natural sciences. And I started working here and I'm still here today. Have you continued with your Masters? I finished it last December. Oh, I know, congratulations. Yep, handed it in. Thank you. And it was in something related to the, what you're doing now? In science communication. Yeah. So yeah, that relates nicely to what I do here. So what are you doing here? Um, so today I've got uh, a Coco de Man nut, uh, two specimens <laughs> actually to show you. Um, so Coco de Man means nut of the sea. Uh, and the species that produces these nuts, these are actually uh, the biggest nuts in the world. Um, You're not surprising me. When you no, brought them in, I, there was much guffawing. Yeah, there was a lot Some of guffawing. Some of it guffawing. was a bit crude, wasn't it? I yeah, thought. well, I mean, they're quite a suggestive shape. Um, you said it, not I me. Know. I was merely going to talk about anatomy. Yeah, it's interesting, actually. The males of the species, um, they have a very interestingly shaped reproductive um, fixture as well. A Are big, there any in the museum? It's No, no. Oh. I don't think they preserve very well, but they're described to be the size and shape of a man's arm, and they're oh. covered with pollen. Um, and so they sort of just hang off the male plants and it's given rise to local legends that on stormy nights the males uproot themselves from the ground and walk over to the female plants and lock in a tight embrace. Not a dry business, this museum no. business, is it? It's not, but apparently if you see the plants doing that, you die. So no oh, one's been able to confirm or deny that, uh, that rumour. <laughs> well, how did it begin? Uh, so okay. it's actually um, a pretty interesting story. Um, these nuts... Um, they were, for a long time, they didn't actually know where the Coco de Mer palms grew. Uh, they'd find mm. these nut, nuts washed up on the beaches um, around the Indian Ocean in Maldives. And they, yeah, so they didn't know where they came from, but they were such amazing things. Uh, and there were lots of theories about um, maybe they were produced by plants growing un under the ocean. Uh, and it mm. wasn't till the mid 17th century that a French explorer um, arrived in the Seychelles and found these uh, Coco de Mer uh, palms growing there. And so that's how they, they came to know where they were. And do they have a flesh that's edible, like a coconut? They do. Um, this one, the, f the flesh will have all um, rotted away. Mm. But uh, when you uh, break open um, a fresh seed, it's, it's uh, f full of flesh. Yep. And covered with a big fruit, a big green fruit. Um, the largest one ever was, it weighed 42 kilos. So they're pretty, pretty hefty but fruits. Oh, so yeah. this is by no means the biggest. This is by no means the biggest, mm. but yeah, still pretty sizable. And this one over here, can I? Yeah, short? absolutely. I'm just going to be fairly careful here. Yeah, sure. How I hold it. It's hinged. It is hinged. So you can open the lid here and then see the interesting shapes ah. inside. So this is where the flesh would have been uh, inside the nut. Yeah. Um, but so this is a worked specimen. Uh, it's quite... Uh, common for the nuts to be, you know, polished and made into things like bowls. Yeah, one imagines that. I mean, as, yeah. as, as with the coconut, of course, you can make, as you say, bowls, yeah. tourist to bits yeah. and pieces, I guess. Indeed. In fact, uh, fun fact, one of the worked specimens was given to um, uh, Will and Kate when they yeah. went on their honeymoon in the Seychelles. So they've got one at their house. Have they? They do. I'm sure it takes pride of place. I'm sure it does. <laughs> Maybe in the bedroom. <laughs> 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 Oh dear. Now, in the museum here, where do we get to see them? So these aren't usually on display. They're actually, we've taken them up from the stores in the basement today. Um, this one was recently on display, but yeah, it's just part of the collection um, that we have downstairs. Is yeah. there any, um, any, uh, do you have any ambition to, or any um, thought of, of having them on display? I mean, perhaps, yeah, if we have an exhibition that, you know, fits in with the Seychelles or with um, palm biology or something like that. I'm yeah. sure we'd whip them out. Because they, I mean, they're astonishing, aren't they? Yeah, they're I mean, truly amazing. I mean, the seeds themselves, for, for a plant to produce seeds so large, it's quite unusual. Um, and it's because the palms evolved in a really um, distinct environment in the Seychelles, because usually yeah, sure. seeds, the purpose of a plant producing a seed is for that seed to be able to be dispersed away from the plant and, you know, produce right. plants elsewhere. Whereas this one, um, they're so large that, you know, really that couldn't happen. And so they just, you know, fall down and grow just below where their parents, where their parents are. So they're a really interesting um, seed. A little family. Yeah, a little family. family. Yeah. Yeah. How long does it take to mature? 
Mm -hmm. um, so the plants themselves, mm. to get to sexual maturity, it takes about 25 years. So, and then once uh, they, um, they're pollinated, mm. uh, the fruits take around seven years to go from, you know, starting to grow, falling on the ground, and then the seed actually germinating in the soil. Uh, the coco de mer palm has a really interesting way of making the ground around it very fertile as well. It's got these huge leaves. They're about four and a half yep. meters wide and 10 meters long, and they catch water and they act like sort of a system of funnels and gutters, and they, they bring okay. the water down to the base of the plant and also all the nutrients off the leaves as well, which means that the, the ground around the palm is very fertile and so it's a great so it's place a, for their a young to grow. Evolved palm tree. It's a brilliantly evolved palm tree. Thank you for bringing tree. them in. Yeah, no great worries. Thank you. Thank you. You too.